So what are we doing today? You're supposed to put my fuel pump months ago. I was supposed to put your fuel pump in months ago? Yes. Because we bought the part months ago and it's been sitting. Two hours later. <laughs> So today's project is replacing the fuel pump on my girlfriend's 97 Jeep Grand Cherokee. This Jeep has over 258,000 miles on it and as far as I know the fuel filter has never been changed. I have to drop the gas tank and remove the pump to get to the filter so it only makes sense to replace the pump while I'm in there. It's also important to have as little gas in the tank as possible. The proper fuel pressure relief procedure starts with removing the gas cap to relieve any built up pressure inside the tank, then pop the hood and remove the cover from the power distribution center. We need to remove the fuel pump relay. The cover should have a diagram with its location, but if not, it's a good thing you're watching this video. Then start the engine, let it stall out, reinstall the fuel pump relay, and disconnect the negative battery cable. Then jack up the rear end and support the axle with jack stands. You'll need a 10 millimeter socket to remove the three bolts located on the passenger side of the gas tank that hold the heat shield in place. The main connector for the fuel pump is mounted on the chassis towards the front of the tank. You want to pry it off, then push the tab down and pull outward. If it's stubborn like mine, you may need to use a small pick or a screwdriver. Then disconnect the fuel line by pushing in on the two tabs and pulling outward. Then separate the fuel vent line that goes to the canister by pulling it apart at the rubber connector. Remove the three plastic retainers from the splash guard to gain access to the fuel filler neck. And I use a 7mm socket to loosen the clamps on the two hoses. These hoses have been on here for a long time so I had to use a curved pick along the inside while I twisted the hose to get them to come off. Then I use the 15 millimeter ratchet and wrench to loosen the two nuts that hold the two tank straps in place. You don't have to remove the nut from the J-bolt completely, but put pressure on the tank by jacking it up with the floor jack and lift up on the bolt to remove it from the chassis. Bird's nest in there too. A bird's nest in the front and there. Ew. What if they were dead? Before you remove the pump, you want to blow away the dirt and debris with some compressed air so it doesn't fall inside the tank. Then take a large screwdriver and hammer the lock ring counterclockwise for removal. Oh. 
So this is the filter from the old pump that looks like a tea bag. And this is what the filter on the new pump looks like. Okay, so unfortunately, I spent 30 minutes trying to make the new fuel pump fit, only to realize it's a lot taller than the original. I ordered this part six months ago, and because I waited so long to install it, I can't get a warranty. So what I ended up doing was I decided to take the clean filter off the new pump and put it on the old one. Now installation is reverse of removal, but be careful not to pinch the gasket during reinstallation. You'll need to repressurize the fuel system by turning your key from the off position to the accessory position just before start. This is called cycling your key, and you'll want to do this at least three times before starting the Jeep. I won't organize them properly. Surgical Summer Volume 2. The Surgical Summer <laughs> Volume 2. Scared to grow it because the floor wasn't napping enough.